Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the Modern C++ series. In this lesson, we're going to take a brief aside from the standard template library, which we've been talking about if you've been watching these episodes in chronological order. And I want to talk about some of the exciting developments going on in the C++ world and where to find them. And by where to find them, I mean conferences. So there's lots of great conferences out there. A lot of the content will end up on YouTube as well. So you should know about these resources. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. So first and foremost, you should know that I did make a video previously. You can go ahead and search for my name and C++ conference talks, and you'll find a list of some of my favorite in the venues. In fact, I'm wearing the same shirt as I'm wearing now uh, in honor of that previous video. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, what are these conference venues? And I'll talk a little bit about why you might consider attending or watching some talks from them. So you can go ahead to the ISO CPP website here. If I go back, you'll find on the left side upcoming C++ conferences, and this lists most of the conferences that have taken place or that are upcoming. And again, these primarily are C++ conferences. Sometimes they have other programming languages, but they're either exclusive C++ or primarily C++ content. So that, again, is where you can find usually the latest and the greatest developments or just folks who are working with C++ and want to talk about it and give various talks. So just to highlight a few of the conferences, uh, I'm by no means uh, endorsing or, or sponsored by any of them, but just conferences that I know are regularly attended by C++ folks uh, in sort of the order that they're delivered. Um, and I'll talk about them uh, in a moment here because some of them still have calls for talks here. So I just want to know uh, or let you know about the timeline here. So with that said, uh, ACCU 2023 just took place in Bristol. And that, again, is a conference that is primarily the content tends to lean towards C++, though there could be other talks. So you might want to check out their YouTube to see some of the uh, past and upcoming 2023 talks. This is usually one of the first conferences uh, of the year th that I consider in the sort of C++ conference uh, season, uh, where you'll get to see talks from various speakers who are going to effectively tour and give their talks uh, throughout the world, um, you know, starting from ACCU. So anyways, this is one of the conferences conferences. There's another uh, talk also in uh, Europe here, or conference rather, using uh, Stood CPP uh, held in Madrid, which has just finished taking place. And that, again, has various conference talks and workshops. Again, most of these conferences that I'm going to be showing you have great uh, workshops that you can attend by trainers uh, to really learn a lot of C++ um, from those workshops. So uh, coming up next in May, uh, shortly here is C++ Now, um, which again is a gathering of C++ experts and enthusiasts. Again, you can read a little bit about the page here. You can see some of the talks that are coming up here. And again, this is held usually in Aspen, uh, Colorado. This used to be a uh, boost con. And again, you can see from the top here, there is an archive to the previous videos. This is a fun conference to attend. Again, you tend to get a lot of expert level talks at C++ now. Um, and it's a very um, nicely sort of um, collection or rather I should say gathering of folks who want to uh, be immersed in C++ uh, throughout this week event here. So that's C++ now, another one that you'll find great talks. Uh, following that is Core CPP, which has just had its schedule announced, uh, and this is usually held in uh, Tel Aviv here. Uh, and you can go ahead and see, we've got our keynote speakers here. You can see all the speakers if you want, the various topics. Again, another conference that runs a few days uh, and is quite well attended both by speakers and uh, for folks who want to participate and listen in on those talks. Next up is uh, Italian C++, which is just a one day conference. Again, there's going to be uh, videos posted of this, but again, uh, another place where you might look for some C++ content. Uh, in the past, there's also been a French C++, which is sometimes online. So depending on where you are in the world, you might be able to attend some of these uh, either remotely or in person. Again, just depends where you're located. Uh, and then coming up in June is C++ on C, held at a beautiful venue in Folkestone uh, in the UK. And it is, again, literally held by the sea. So you can see speakers there. There's workshops and a multiple day conference, um, as noted here. Uh, and generally, again, has lots of great talks that'll be later posted uh, if you're not able to attend in person. But like all these conferences, I 
um, would encourage folks who are able to or can get a company to send them to, you know, attend in person uh, and do a little bit of uh, networking. Or if you're a student, if you're able to volunteer and attend that way, um, you know, lots of these conferences support that. So that's a good thing. Uh, then next up, uh, as far as chronological order in July, uh, C++ North, which is held in Canada, another conference that um, has just announced their speaker list. So you can start looking at their news here. Um, I think they'll post a link or have already posted on Twitter so you can see who some of the keynote speakers are. Again, uh, I wasn't able to attend the previous year, but it had lots of really great uh, talks that I was able to see online. So again, you'll definitely want to take advantage of that uh, or try to attend perhaps if you're in the uh, Toronto area. Following that, uh, the next thing on my radar is uh, the 5th of August, CPP India. Uh, this is going to be an online conference, uh, as my understanding is, and this should be another, uh, again, conference that brings in lots of great talks. Again, the 5th of August, if you're able to attend, sounds like it'll be a wonderful uh, event. Uh, following CPP uh, India, next thing that's on my radar is CPP Con in October, also in Colorado, like C++ now. Um, and this tends to be the largest uh, C++ event. Usually there is an online and an in-person track, so you can participate that way. And again, for most of these conferences that have online tracks, um, you're able to use different applications like uh, Gather Town and so on to sort of participate, and that can be uh, fun here. And then finally, uh, kind of wrapping things up, there's Meeting C++ uh, in November, which I believe is still accepting talks at this time. Uh, there is still until June 18th. Um, and again, that just kind of gives you the timeline if you do want to give a talk at any of these conferences. Usually you have to uh, prepare several months ahead of time to uh, give a talk here. Um, so these are some of the conferences that come up. So again, this is just kind of a video on news. Um, occasionally, I'm lucky enough to speak at some of these conferences. And again, there's lots of great speakers there. I encourage folks to at the least check out the content on YouTube. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these, but um, there tends to be really nice talks. And they're usually ranging from the lightning talks that are five minutes to talks that are 30 minutes or an hour where you can go in depth into various sessions. So again, a great way to learn a lot of C++ if you can attend one of these, uh, whether remotely, in person, or just watch the videos later on. So with that said, I just wanted to in this video, give a little bit of a detour and just talk about some of the cool C++ stuff. Obviously, there's lots of different conferences. And again, if C++ isn't your main language, maybe look at other conferences uh, that might be available. Again, it's just a great way to build up your expertise pragmatically. That's what I try to tell students. I try to attend a conference at least once if you are able, uh, because again, it's a great way to meet the experts, see what folks think is interesting at the current time, and get a sense of what the future direction is of a particular industry, in this case, C++, the programming language. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a landscape, or at least the timeline of these various conferences. Again, uh, my experience attending most conferences has been great in the terms of what I get out of it or learn from them uh, whenever I'm able to do that. And hopefully now that you have a little bit of a landscape or maybe some of the keywords of these different conferences, you'll go on YouTube, check out some of their videos and find something interesting. And if you find something interesting, a great talk, feel free to share it below. I'd be very curious of what you think some of the top talks are. Uh, again, you can check out my previous video on that. And certainly I'll be adding to that playlist as time goes on, as we see more of these great conferences talks. Uh, and I can't wait to see some, uh, maybe from our viewers right now, you'll be getting some talks here. So uh, that'll be very exciting. Anyways, folks, with that said, just want to give a short video, break things up a little bit here. And as always, thank you for your time and attention. And I'll see you in the next lesson and we'll dive back into the S. TL.